Hello, welcome again to my Wix Editor Basics series. Um, one of the main things about the structure of a Wix website is that most all of my websites are built on strips and columns. So you can add anything onto a strip and then you can move the strip up or down uh, and everything on the mobile version will stay within that strip too. So it makes it easier to create the site, to design it, and, um, and for the layout. Now, I've already talked about um, the editor basics, the tools that you should have on, which includes these grid lines, so you know where to stay within. Um, if you want to add a strip, say we want to add something in between here, there's a plus sign here. This is to add a strip. So we're going to add something here. And I'm going to add a blank strip. Now, these look black and white, but they're not. Um, they're off-white and off-black. <laughs> uh, so if you want it to be white, you want to change it to the exact white color. This is the theme color, which is almost white, but we want to change that. So that's the first thing I always do. So we have a new strip here and anything that I add, any text or anything, I want to be within the grid lines. Say I want to move the strip to be the first thing. So I'm gonna drag this strip down with the drag button here. If I just uh, dragged it this way, then nothing below it would uh, move this way. If I use this drag button, everything below this strip will move down too. So now I'm just gonna drag this strip up. And I just wanna show you it appears that the header is out of the grid lines, but it's not. Um, one way to be able to have your text show or images or whatever show on the edges is to create columns. So from here on this strip, I'm gonna create a column by going to the layout button and add a column. Now I have two evenly sized columns. If I only need a small portion on this side and more for my, um, my menu, then you can change, you have to get off, go onto the whole, have it highlight the whole strip and click on layout. Here you can change the proportions. You could choose something here or you can just drag this to the proportions you want. So let's say that works for me. Now it looks like I have to stay within these grid lines, which this logo would still be off of the grid lines. So what I wanna do is click on this column itself. So just this column is highlighted. And now if I go to the layout, I can change the alignment. I can move it to left aligned. So now anything within this box will show on a smaller screen. If I want to drag this down, I'm gonna just duplicate it so you can see the difference. Say we did that. If we had it off the grid lines. So if I, if I had a smaller screen, the one that's within the grid lines shows up, but the other one gets cut off because it's outside of the grid lines. So that's where a lot of people have issues um, with their sites not looking good on smaller screens because they're building it on a big screen so they don't see it. So my tip is to make your screen size smaller to make sure everything 
works correctly. So I'll just delete that. And that is my tips and tricks on columns and strips. Um, if you want to add an image here instead, you can add an image to the column itself. Or if you wanted to add it onto the column, it would just have to be this size if you wanted everything to show. So you can change the background of the column and add a video, anything. But I'll be showing that in a different video. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, you can subscribe to my new channel or uh, contact me if you need any help with your site.